Denisha Francis, great start and a better finish to this routine. Don't miss it. Never get tired of watching this routine. Okay, that side aerial. I asked Val today, I watched her warm up, and I said, is she doing a new series? And she said, well, she's supposed to always connect that side aerial to the front aerial to the back handspring. And she said, good observation. Well, she did it to me again. Throws me off. She did the side aerial by itself. Is that a call she makes on the fly? <laughs> it is. She does not need the connection. So whether she connects it or not, it does not affect the score. She's so beautiful on this event, yet she makes it look so effortless. A turn like that, very difficult. But what she is known for is coming up. Oh yeah, and her flexibility, I forgot. She's known for that too, but it's this dismount right here. Nobody in the country does this but her. Side aerial, going sideways, and then she's gonna dismount out. She's got it, you can tell. She's got it or not. And that trail foot comes around and finds the beam. She's locked in. We saw her fall on that dismount at Oregon State, but that's really the only time in two years we've seen her struggle with it. Well, she starts this routine very creative. Gives you a good angle of the balance beam, four inches wide. Fun, creative way to start in a very difficult and unique dismount. Right there, that second foot you were talking about. Once that foot lands, we know she's home free and she nailed the dismount. Right here, the side arrow has to stay within that four inch range, land both feet. That was one of her best yet. That's some great camera work, Tim Lair, director and his crew. She had a perfect